Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to yet another TechWizKid 24 video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up and run your very own Ventrilo server right from your home. Uh, this it's free for up to eight users. If you want more than that, you're going to have to purchase a license from uh, Ventrilo. But without any further ado, let's get started. So, first thing you're going to want to do is head over to Ventrilo.com, head over to the download section, and if you don't already have it, download the server program, which is Windows i30. 386. Uh, just download 32 bit, even if you have 64 bit Windows, it still works, so don't worry about it. I actually have it installed, so I'm not going to install it, but uh, after you have it all installed, just one of those next next install things. Go into your start menu, look up vent SRV, vent or vent the folder, it should be somewhere near the bottom. You go to edit INI file. And what you do is uh, you just change to the information to your liking. Um, I'm going to name mine, as you can see, our Tech Whiz Kids Vent. Uh, I can change a phonetic, which is what it says when they come in. So I'm just going to say welcome. All right, and you choose an add-in password. This is the password you use to um, kick, ban people, uh, also make channels and things like that. So it's going to be. I'm going to leave that at password. And the next password option is the one for um, users to actually get onto your uh, Ventrilo server. If you want to make it private, go ahead and do that. But if you want to make a public server, just go ahead and leave that blank. And one last thing you're going to want to edit in here is the voice codec and the voice format options. I will be putting a full description of all the kinds inside the description. Uh, as you can see, you just pick the numbers from here. 3.32 will be the highest quality, so you just put voice codec 3, voice format 32. That is the 32 kilohertz, 16-bit, 10 quality. Uh, now, if you have a lot of, if you plan on having eight people in there, all using that, it might get a little laggy, uh, depending on your upload speeds. But uh, just mess around, pick the right one, whichever one suits you best. Um, the next thing you want to do is port forward some ports on your router. Um, there's three of them that you have to forward, and there's a cool website they can go to that will show you how to forward portforward.com. It tells you how to port forward on almost any kind of router you can have, so what you do is you just go through the list, try to find your router, and the ports you're going to want to forward are 3784, uh, both TCP and UDP, and 6100 UDP. Uh, once you have those all forwarded and you allow vent SRV or event server.exe through your firewall. What you're going to do is you go to your start menu again, vent server, click on it. Um, and as you can see, I just joined it because I have my client open at the moment. And let's see this up. As you can see here, this is my event that I just made. Now, just as a test it, you can go to hostname or IP and enter in the local host with port 3784. Uh, what this will do is it will just connect from within your actual your network. So if you just want to make a Ventrilo server for just your network in your house, just have everyone connect to localhost or your actually your internal IP inside your house, port number 3784, and that should work out for you. So once you have all your channels set up, you can do this by going to server admin and entering the password that you made inside the INI file. And what you can do is you can just right click somewhere, channel admin, or right click in a, on a channel, channel admin, create and you just create channels, blah 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 blah, and you can make a open to public channel, one that uses a password, one that they have to be authorized to get in. And as you can see, just makes right here. And if you want to make a branch off it, just make sure that channel is selected. And once you have that all set up, you're just gonna hand out your IP to everyone, well not to everyone, but the people you want to have your server info. And you can get this by going to ventrilo.com and go to the my IP section it will be IP address equals and you just copy and paste that and give that to people and tell them to connect through port 3784. Now um, quite a few people have been running into problems with uh, port forwarding on the routers. I'm sorry I cannot really help you with that. Just go to portforward.com. It has step-by-step -step instructions on how to forward ports and just make sure that you allow the ventrilo server.exe through your firewall. Uh, good luck and have fun with your new ventrilo server.